a custom rainbow My Little Pony using highlighters. Hey Little Pandas, I have received several requests to do a custom rainbow pony and I saw a really cool idea on Pinterest so I am going to try that out today using Pinkie Pie. So to get started, I am using this China Glaze Holographic Nail Polish in Cosmic Dust. Now the color looks a little dull on camera, but in real life it is this gorgeous silvery color and it has holographic um, glitter all in it. It's microscopic and it looks super awesome. Now I'm just going to take this Cosmic Dust nail polish and paint one coat all over Pinkie Pie. The nail polish is kind of thin, but that's okay, I'm just using it to cover up the pink and we're gonna layer on top of it. And here she is, uh, first layer of paint on her and she kind of looks like some sort of superhero in a really tight costume or something like that. But on to the next step. We are going to use some type of glitter nail polish. Now you could use Silver Lining by China Glaze or you could use this um, custom nail polish from Starly called Ultima. And they're both really similar except the Starly one, um, the glitter, there's a lot more glitter in here than there is in the China Glaze. So there's the China Glaze right there. Um, but the Star Lily one, it is a little more expensive than the China Glaze one. Um, so I thought I'd give you guys two options if you want to recreate this look. So I am just taking the nail polish and putting one coat all over Pinkie Pie. And it, the amount of glitter in this nail polish is just awesome. With one coat, you get so much, so much shine. I love glitter in case you didn't know. <laughs> And so here she is. So if you have ever wanted a super awesome glitter, glittery, sparkly Pinkie Pie custom, then you can stop right here. But if you want to try to make a rainbow one, then we can continue. So what I have here are some cosmetic sponges. It, it, you know, I got a pack of these. I want to say like a pack of 20 at Walmart for about $2. Um, and what I'm doing is I am taking the same nail polish and putting it directly onto the sponge just like this. And then I'm going to take the sponge and directly put the nail polish onto Pinkie Pie. Now the reason that I do this is because the sponge absorbs all of the clear nail polish and it just leaves glitter. And what I'm doing is I'm basically just layering glitter all over Pinkie Pie without um, putting too much nail polish on her. And it leaves a really bumpy texture to Pinkie Pie because you, you know it's just glitter layered on top of glitter and there's no clear nail polish to kind of even everything out. I hope that kind of makes sense to you guys. So um, you can see right here all the clear uh, nail polish has been absorbed and all the glitter stays on Pinkie Pie. And it took me you know three um, sponges to get through uh, putting all this glitter on Pinkie Pie. And here she is. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but um, she has texture all over her. She is like super bumpy, grainy, kind of feels like sand because I can feel all of the glitter particles all over her. And the reason I want it to be textured like that is because I need to apply paint and I need the paint to kind of be able to be absorbed by the glitter, sort of. You'll see in a second. So I am using these Sharpie highlighters. Now there's lots of different highlighters out there. I strongly recommend using these particular highlighters where you can kind of see all the ink because a lot more ink comes out the tip of these highlighters than like a normal one. So here we go. We're gonna get started. Now I am gonna do stripes. The stripes can be horizontal, vertical, diagonal. It doesn't matter. You can do you know whatever stripe pattern that you want. I am gonna go for a diagonal pattern for my rainbow pony. And again, I don't know if this is really gonna work. I just saw it on Pinterest. So we are about to see. So all you gotta do is paint that highlighter directly onto the pony 
and because it has that texture left behind by all the glitter um, the glitter really does a good job of, of absorbing the color from the Sharpie and I don't know, it's coming out pretty cool. So I am going to do yellow and then green, orange, pink, and then blue because I think um, that, you know, to me looks best like a rainbow, you know, light colors to dark colors. And this is going on um, pretty easily. You know, you kind of just got to scratch the color on there. And this is kind of cool. And there goes the orange. And the pink. Ooh, this pink looks really nice on here. Really like this. And then right now I will switch to the blue. I kind of layered some of the blue directly on top of the pink. So that way we get an extra color, we get purple. Uh, this came out really cool actually. Really cool. I'm really liking this kind of highlighter thing. It looks cool. I'm just going in and kind of giving it a little more color. Some of the colors kind of faded and like um, bled into each other. So, uh, you know, you can go back over any parts where the color got kind of dull. Kind of like the top stripe where the orange is. It got a little dull right there. So I'm just going to go back in there and put a little more color. So when it comes to the face, uh, I couldn't decide what I really wanted to do. Because I was like, well, am I going to have like diagonals going across her eyes or what am I going to do and I finally decided to do a v-shaped pattern just like this so I'm going to take all the colors and I'm using the exact same pattern the yellow the green the orange the pink and the blue um, and I'm just going in and making a little diagonal so that way it meets right in the middle at her nose I thought that that would be the best way to do Pinkie Pie's face and let's get all this color in. Okay, and here she is. She's still wet. So the highlighter ink um, is still kind of wet. You'll see it's all over my fingers. So I am gonna be really careful to not touch Pinkie Pie's body yet. I am taking this clear coat. Um, I'm just using Sally Hansen. It's like two bucks at Walmart. And I am going to completely cover her with clear nail polish to seal in all of the highlighter so that way it doesn't bleed all over um you know fingers or anything like that and here she is she is completely completely done i went in with a sharpie and i drew her eyelashes in i got a little bit of paint in her hair but that's okay um you can easily get like uh, some water and hopefully it'll come out i don't know and here she is so here is the highlighter rainbow custom my little pony and i gotta admit she looks a little bit like a pinata i wasn't expecting that but i i think she's i think she's super cute i think she's like really adorable and here she is here's a better view of her i really love this rainbow custom she is so festive so pretty and she's glittery i absolutely love glitter if you've seen any of my other customs that i've done i do tend to make sure that i have some sort of sparkle in them it's just you know one of those things that i like uh but if you guys have any requests um for any customs that i should make in the future please let me know in the comments below and if you like my pinata looking rainbow my little pony uh, let me know in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up until next time thank you so much for watching little pandas bye
find me online, Instagram, Amanda Panda Toy Collector, or like my Facebook page to get the latest scoop on all the videos and giveaways.